Smile Down Your Smile is very cheeky and a lot of fun. This is a 1931 Warner Brothers Merry Melody cartoon directed by Rudolph Ising. And if you look at the promotional poster artwork for this, before you even watch the cartoon, straight away you will see that Foxy, our protagonist, is almost identical to Mickey Mouse, except that he has pointy ears. He also has a bushy fox tail. And there's another character in this, Foxy's girlfriend, who looks so much like Minnie Mouse, she even has the flower in a hat on her head. And this animation is very, very similar to Trolley Troubles, which is a Disney short with Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. So definitely Rudolf Ising is getting a lot of inspiration from Disney here. Harmon actually worked a lot, uh, Hugh Harmon worked quite closely with the creation of um, Trolley Troubles as a short. So there is some kind of connection there, but definitely this seems like a parody of Mickey and Minnie Mouse and Disney in general. And that is something that I love. I don't know if Disney ever saw this and decided to try and sue for copyright or anything. I don't know if the differences are strong enough because Foxy is a, a fox rather than a mouse. They can get away with it. But certainly when you watch it, the, the parallels between Mickey and Minnie and Oswald are very, very apparent. Apparent. The animation itself is about Foxy, who is driving this trolley, and he happens upon various problems al along the way, including one hippo, and the way he solves the problem there is rather questionable, but visually it's quite entertaining. And he picks up his girlfriend, um, and they carry along, and there's a cow who is so much like the early incarnations of Clara Bell Cow, it is insane. Like... They cannot pretend that they were not just parodying the early works of Disney here. And of course, this Clarabelle cow lookalike causes problems the way that Clarabelle did for Mickey and various other characters in Disney's earlier shorts. And I won't say any more about the animation itself, about the narration, um, or the narrative rather, because it is obviously a short. It's about seven minutes and I don't want to give away too much more of it. But I had a lot of fun with this. Just sitting waiting for the next element of the parody to pop up. I had a lot of fun with it. It was really good fun. Um, I mean, on its own, if I'd never seen Disney and I didn't know who Mickey Mouse was or Oswald, I would have thought it was a fun enough narrative that was very well animated and quite pleasing. But viewing it as a parody, it's so much fun. You know, I love Disney. And I, I'm, I prefer Disney to Warner Brothers cartoons. That's fact. But I do love it when Warner Brothers or other studios parody Disney, which has done quite a lot because Disney has been at the top of their game for a long time. Even back then, Disney was showing strong promise as being, you know, shining brighter than everybody else. Not completely all of the time, but certainly he showed promise and potential where other studios were maybe not getting as much attention. So parodying Disney's popular characters is certainly something that studios did and as far as smile down your smile goes i think they've done it well it's really delightful definitely one that's worth checking out if you're a fan of disney or warner or oswald the lucky rabbit